niggas don't even want to slide no more. After shorty, after that sh just happened, so whoever, whoever they that sh for two, they say the Reaper. After that happened, gang, ain't nothing going on, man. They threw on the flag, man. real. They threw on the white flag. But I still love you, folks, but it's like my little brother feel how he feel, and I'm around with him right around the dead. Wrong, you know that. So it is what it is. For I wish y'all the best of luck, but we do spank. And you know this person. There's a new war going on right now in Chicago, and blood has spilled over the course of three months between Trap City and the Bloodhounds. Both sets were once cool with each other in the past, then things went left. This video will be about the recent death of Trap City member, Trap City Carter, or some call him Trap City Vell, real name Chevelle Carter. He was shot to death on Chicago's low end October 19th. The internet would take to this incident and instantly place the body on the Bloodhound gang due to the fact that Bloodhound Lil Jeff was recently killed in Trap City territory. Jeff family, the whole family from here. So it was like, yeah. I really want to ask like how they feel about all that. Cause it's one of them hoods that go back forever. So it's like, they probably hurt, you know? They hurt, they feel like you crashed up. He died, you know what I'm saying? He's probably, you know? Hey, I hope they, I hope they hurt. It's real. Now they feel like he crashed out, so it is what it is, you feel My mama hurt. We're gonna take a look at a previous case that Trap City Carter was involved in. I wasn't able to find anything on him about bodies or shootings, but I was able to find this. Back in 2023, Trap City Carter took the police on a high-speed chase where he went over 100 miles per hour in DuPage County. Chevelle Carter of Calumet City was ordered held on $75,000 bond on Tuesday after he was arrested last week following the incident. The DuPage County State's Attorney Office said, he faces charges of aggravated fleeing and eluding, class three felony, and one count of attempting to elude the police officer, class four felony. Police said that they witnessed three people repeatedly getting out of their vehicle and going into a shopping mall before coming out and getting back into their vehicle. Oak Brook police later received a call regarding multiple individuals acting suspiciously with credit cards that were repeatedly denied. Prosecutors say that Carter drove approximately 100 miles per hour on 22nd Street to York Road, where he again ignored a red light and headed north on York Road, again reaching a speed of approximately 100 miles per hour. Prosecutors also said that Carter then went eastbound on Roosevelt Road and that just prior to entering the I-290 ramp, he came to a stop after driving over spike strips placed by another officer. Police said that Carter and two other unidentified suspects fled the vehicle on foot. A short time later, officers took Carter into custody. When officers searched the vehicle, they recovered one Smith & Wesson 9mm firearm and two Glock 9mm firearms, police said. All three guns were loaded and the Smith & Wesson was reported stolen out of Indiana, according to police. When Bloodhound Lil Jeff was still alive, he went on his live and talked about how he got a new chain, but it was Trap City Carter's chain. Trap City Carter breaks down how the chain was stolen in full detail. Nope. With this being like the blood hood and all that, I heard the fallout was like over a stolen Cuban or something like that. Tell him your, hey, tell him, tell him your story. Keep your feet. Still, it's it's still gotta yeah. be a slang. Yeah, hey, look. Folks already been told y'all we fucking <laughs> happy. You feel? No, folks stole the 
Change. He stole folks' change. He tried to act like. He tried to act like you feel. I went gay. It was like. That's we get that a lot in the city. Like a lot of people claim that like they, they was off P's the Q's and like they walked never out. Took nah. Never took off They like family gang. Yeah, let a wedding chain. That's he, like that's like if he let me wear the chain gang on phone him. He let me sit up. I got that for a couple days gang on phone him, and I just end up you no. Know, my man was saying, I come back around y'all, then all of a sudden I come back and say, the chain is stole. That's like a give your pipe. He, he said he, he got in a high speed. speed. He, he, speed. he got in a high speed. Come on, we finna go that way. Come on, this way. this way. Now, one person I definitely time, wanted to. We got our ears to the street, though, you feel me, the whole time. Now, they try to make it sound like, you feel me, he he lost it, you feel me? But oh, it was like a group really effort happened. to try to, like, overplay. Exactly. And they tried to just make them take the chain well, to make it seem like it was something. had to go on that side and it had to be sad getting picked and whatever happened, happened. There was a specific part of this interview that now has become a haunting reality of this drill life. At one point, the interviewer was asking a lot of questions in the effort to have Trap City try to clean up rumors about people who died previously. Trap City Carter literally asked the man, why do you keep asking all these questions about dead people? Trap City Carter slash Trap City Vell was killed literally a day before this interview dropped online. The day it premiered on YouTube for the first time, Vell was dead. It seemed like when people pass away, like a lot of people just throw stories on them, probably like to make them seem sound good or something. Yeah. Or just cause they gone, they can't defend they stuff. Speculation. What's up with all these questions about all these dead people, though, man? Yeah. That's what they want to hear. Chicago police say two men shot and killed another man last night in the Oakland neighborhood on the south side. Police putting down multiple evidence markers there at the scene near 38th Place and Ellis. A 32-year-old man was shot there several times around 8.45 last night. A witness tells police that they saw two gunmen get into a white vehicle that drove away. No one has been arrested. A 32-year-old man was shot and killed Saturday night in the Oakland neighborhood. Police said around 8.40 p.m., officers responded to a shooting near 38th and Ellis and found the victim with multiple gunshot wounds to the chest. A witness told police two gunmen got into a white vehicle and fled the scene after the shooting. The victim was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. He has been identified as Chevelle Carter of Calumet Park. No one was in custody Sunday morning. Area 1 detectives were investigating. Bloodhound Q50 goes online a day after Trap City Carter's death and trolls not only Trap City, but he trolls Billionaire Black and the GDs. Q50, I'm Q Ryan. It's not like me and folks can't get up with him. Get up with me. Better not touch a hell my. Better not touch a hell my head. Do a part two this with Billy. I'm not. Hey, look, for this. Hey, let me get this straight too, because I keep seeing y'all ask that. I'm not doing no fucking rap battle with these GD ass niggas, man. I'll make these niggas relevant again, man. The GDs. Come on, kid, grandma. Fuck blue now. Fuck the duck, nigga. Fuck your own child. What the some GDs? Hey, stop that. Trap City was never up. Even when they took my brother, them, them niggas still one up. They still got it. <laughs> you know? You know? They still one up. My dear, come on. Q50 then goes off on everyone and clears up the rumors of his friend Bloodhound Lil Jeff. Q50 states that Jeff wasn't shot 19 times, but he knows someone who was. Ah uh, yeah, let me get this straight too. A nigga on my right hand of Jesus Christ, on my dead grandmother grave, my brother didn't get hit 19 times. Stop that. On my dead grandmother grave, folks didn't get hit 19 times. On my right hand of Jesus Christ, y'all know I'm not no Babinez nigga, folks. All that shit, no. I'm clearing that shit up. Cause I don't need, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna clear a lot of shit up. Whatever y'all see in the comments, I'm like, and I see it. I'm, I'm what's the name? I can't question. Hey, all right, I got you. I'm all dead grandma. I let like 19 times. Cut that shit out. Keep something out. I know who did get hit 19 times. Hey, look, though, I know. A nigga playing copyright, they left him outside the store. 
All right, y'all, there y'all have it. That's been the story of Trap City Carter. Hey, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. And you already know what it is. Don't go nowhere. Watch that next video. Gang!